in previous session you studied statement, explanation, application and numerical problems based on his law. Now in this session we are going to learn some tricks to solve the numerical problems based on his law. Suppose the if enthalpies of formation of reactants and products are known or given in that numerical problem, then you can determine from that the enthalpy of reaction. Okay, next. But suppose if enthalpies of combustion of reactants and products are known, then you can determine the enthalpy of reaction by using this formula. Remember here, here in case of this enthalpies of formation, product minus reactants are there. And in case of this combustion, okay, here reactant minus products are there. Remember this thing. Now these formulas are very useful to solve the numerical problem for theory exam as well as to solve the MCQ. Okay. Now, in this session, we are going to see, learn how these are useful to solve the problems for theory exam. And how these are useful to solve the MCQ, we will see that in the MCQ session. Okay. Now, one more thing here. Suppose in some of the numerical, both values are given. Then, how these are useful, we will see that also in MCQ session. Okay? Now, let us see one numerical based on his law. Let us see problem. Calculate the standard enthalpy of formation of methanol from the following data. Okay? These three equations are given. Now, Formation of methanol. Formation of methanol. Always in the formation, one mole of compound is formed, one mole of methanol in its standard state, that is liquid, from its constituent elements. Now see, constituent element, carbon in its standard state, that is solid, that is graphite. Then hydrogen in its standard state, that is gaseous state, two hydrogen. And oxygen in its standard state that is O2 gas. Okay. Now only one oxygen is required. Therefore half O2. Now we want to find out the enthalpy change for this reaction. Is how much. Okay. Now we can solve this numerical by three methods. Okay. Now let us see one by one. First method. See here. Obtain this equation from these three equations by adding, subtraction, division or multiplication of these three equations to get this equation and find out its enthalpy change from that one. That is the first method. You studied this method in the earlier session. Okay. Now, this is first method. Then, Consider now second method. This is the second method. In the second method, see here the formation. This is the formation of carbon dioxide. This is the formation of H2O. That is enthalpy of formation of CO2 and H2O known. Okay. The standard enthalpy of formation of element is 0. This is 0. Now the enthalpy change for this reaction is known. That is, this is known, this known, this known, it is zero. You can determine the enthalpy of formation of this one. That is, substitute these two values here and find out this one. This is the second method. By using first formula, just I have given that formula. Okay. Now, third method. See here. Here, the combustion of graphite is known. Combustion of graphite is known. See this one, that is carbon, this known. Then combustion of hydrogen is known. This is the combustion of hydrogen reaction. It is known. Then this is zero. Then here 
combustion of methanol is known that is this one is also known that is combustion the enthalpy of combustion of reactant and products are known you can determine the enthalpy of reaction by using that formula just i have given that formula let us see one by one method method one now see here obtain this equation from these three see here we require carbon that is graphite it is in present in second equation therefore equation number two plus this is all next 2h2 we require 2h2 now here h2 is available that is multiply this equation by 2 therefore equation number 3 multiplied by 2 okay and this is completed then next it is automatically balanced now ch3oh we require on this side now find out that that no it is not possible you want to find out this one therefore now it is not available on this side now but it is available on this side now when we require any compound on this side and if it is available on this side that is on the opposite side then reverse that reaction and then add now here one methanol one mole of methanol therefore reverse of equation number one is added okay now process this one equation number two this one carbon graphite plus o2 gas gives co2 gas this is equation number two its enthalpy change is minus 393 kilojoule per mole okay next now equation number 3 multiplied by 2 that is this multiplied by 2 therefore 2H2 gas plus now multiplied by 2 therefore O2 gas gives 2H2O liquid. Now the enthalpy of this is into 2 therefore it is minus 572 kilojoule per mole. It is multiplied by 2. This is also multiplied by 2. Next, this one. Reverse of equation number 1. That is equation number 1. It's reverse reaction. That is CO2 gas plus 2H2O liquid gives is CH3OH liquid and the 3 by 2 O2 gas. Okay. The delta H of this reaction is the magnitude remains same but the now sign is opposite because reaction is reversed therefore plus 70, 726 kilojoule per mole. Okay. Now add all these equations here carbon this side on this side that is carbon graphite straight plus now see here O2, 1 O2, 2 O2 here, that is 2 O2 and here 3 by 2 that is 1.5 O2. Now 1.5 O2 and here 2 O2, therefore it is cancelled out, remaining half O2. Okay, half O2 gas plus, now this one, 2 H2, 2 H2 gas. Okay, this CO2, this CO2 cancelled out, 2H2O, 2H2O cancelled out. Now, this side is over. Now, let us see that side. On that side, we are cancelled out, remain only CH3OH liquid. See that, this equation. We require this equation. Okay, now this is obtained here. Okay, yes. Now find out the delta H of the reaction. Now this minus this one that is see here minus 393 minus 572 that is 5619 minus 965 
plus this 965 plus this 726 okay this subtraction 9 1 3 and this 2 1 that is enthalpy change for this reaction is minus 2 3 9 kilojoule per mole okay this is our answer that is enthalpy change for this reaction is that one okay this is by first method now let us see the second method okay for the same numerical okay next another method method second see here I have written here first equation methanol plus this and CO2 plus 2H2O. Its enthalpy of reaction is given. It is a minus 726 kilojoule per mole. Okay. Then, now see here. Enthalpy of formation. You know this formula. Okay. Enthalpy of reaction is equal to enthalpy of formation of products minus enthalpy of formation of reactant. You know this formula. Okay. Now, for this reaction, write the formula. Here, product CO2 and twice H2. Then, here, methanol and this one for O2. Okay. Now, for the formation of CO2, see here, this this is the formation of CO2 reaction that is enthalpy of formation of CO2 is minus 393 kilojoule per mole. Then for the formation of water it is given minus 286 kilojoule per mole. Therefore substitute these values here 2 H2 therefore 2. Next now reactants. Now we want to find out the enthalpy of formation of methanol that is this one. Now this is 0 is a enthalpy of any element in a standard state is 0 therefore this value 0 we want to find out this one and the enthalpy change for the reaction is given it is this one minus 726 and you have to solve this one this on this side and solve gives the answer same to that of first method okay this is a second method now let us see third method Now let us see third method by using enthalpy of combustion values. Okay. Now see here enthalpy of formation of methanol is required. Same required equation is formation of methanol from its constituent element. Find out the enthalpy change for this reaction. Actually this is nothing but delta F that is change in enthalpy of formation. Enthalpy of formation you want to determine. Now this one. Okay. Enthalpy of combustion of reactants here. Summation of enthalpy of combustion of reactants minus this product. Now, for this equation, see here. Combustion of carbon, 2 into combustion of hydrogen, and 2 in, then half into combustion of oxygen and combustion of methanol. Then substitute the values. See here. Combustion of carbon. This is the combustion of carbon. This value minus 393. Okay. Then combustion of hydrogen. This is the combustion of hydrogen. This value here. Then combustion of methanol. This one. This is here. Combustion of methanol. Okay. Next. Now substitute the value. Add these values and that is do the calculation and find out this answer. Now actually this is a enthalpy of reaction is a enthalpy of formation of methanol. Okay. This is the answer is same. Use any one method. Actually these formulas this one and formation formulas are very useful to solve the MCQ within short time. Okay. Now let us see in the next session we will see the spontaneity of the reaction.